In this video we are going to prepare our infrastructure for branch cache by adding a new site, also a new subnet of course, uh, creating a DHCP scope for that subnet so it's easier to use with clients and uh, also why not creating a reverse lookup zone in DNS for the new IP range. Let's start with uh, all the uh, DHCP stuff because we can do them from IPAM. I'm on my IPAM server and without further ado let's add a, a new DHCP scope. We can go to DHCP servers, select DHCP and let's add a new scope, create DHCP scope and first we have to enter a scope name A start IP address and an end IP address of course let's limit the list time to 12 hours and we also have to add a couple of DCP options the first option will be the default gateway then we need also of course DNS servers DCO1 and DCO2 and the last thing I want to add is also the domain name, DNS domain name, which is testcorp.local. And uh, this is all we need. Now we can click apply and IPAM will create the scope and it already did. Now that we have a scope, why not also add it to uh, our failover relationship? which we can do directly from IPAM because we are on 2012 R2. So let's go to DHCP scopes, find the scope that we want, right click and go to uh, configure DHCP failover. And here uh, it's very simple, we have to either create a new relationship or use an existing one. I will use an existing one. The partner will be DHCP02 and I'll choose this relationship which covers the rest of the settings. I just have to apply and everything is done. You see already uh, now we have four scopes. Actually we have two but uh, each of them are uh, shown here twice. Now besides adding the scope let's also add a new a block IP address block very simple very straightforward the block you see has been added and with the block added let's also add two more uh, address ranges that will be managed by IPAM. Add IP address range. The start address will be, uh, this is correct, but the end address for the first uh, range will be 99. And basically this is it. Let's add also the second range. Slash 24. Now the start address will be 151. And the end address is correct. Let's add a date. Click apply. Also this is done. 
Now, if you go to IP address blocks, you will see that the DHCP uh, addresses are not yet shown, but we can fix it very easily. Let's uh, retrieve server data. And now everything looks the way it should. Let's move on to the domain controller. On our domain controller, we have to do a couple of things. First, let's create a reverse lookup zone for the new subnet. With that out of the way, let's go to sites and uh, services. And you see we have for now a default first site name. Let's rename this one so we, it's easier to know what we are talking about. I'll call it HQ. And let's also create a couple of subnets. New subnet. This is the 10 subnet, which corresponds to HQ. Now let's make our branch site. And create a subnet for this one also. And we are done with the sites part. The last thing I want to do in Active Directory is to prepare our infrastructure a little. I want to create a new organizational unit called computers. And in this one, I'm going to make another OU called branch. And I have a few computers that for now are in the first uh, subnet, but I will move them which will be in our branch and uh, they will serve as our test clients for branch cache. And with this, we are done. In the next video, we are going to go and configure branch cache. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a share. Also subscribe if you're not subscribed and thanks a lot for watching.